If you know Africa, the sun goes down and you're outside the city, everything goes pitch black. Why is that? Because the grid and electricity is not reaching the people outside the cities. So what could be a technical solution to challenge that fact? We decided to create a kiosk that is a business hub that gives power to an entrepreneur and an entire community. The solar kiosk looks easy from the outside. It's a box, it's a piece of architecture that is mobile, easily transported and is energy autonomous, um, driven by solar energy. It is meant to be a business enabler, a kiosk that allows for many different types of businesses to be housed within and providing sufficient and clean energy in off-grid areas. You need to design something that is safe, it's sturdy, it's doable, it is easy to implement with unskilled labor and it will last. The devil's really in the details and the smartness is in the, in the joints or in the secret technology that is hidden within the kiosk. If you would have to sketch it today, the kiosk takes five seconds to sketch up, but uh, it takes five years to be deployed. Graft is an avant-garde design firm, but we have already done a lot of socially conscious projects. So we're really, really aware how design can change the world and really understanding problems from the problem side and not from the designer side only. We had Coca-Cola in mind from the get-go. If you go to Africa, if you go to the last trail, Coca-Cola is already there. Their vision of the eco-center is matching exactly what we at Solar Kios have been doing the last years. We are helping each other to scale up much quicker and to reach the people that should benefit from these embedderment of services faster than we would if we work separately. What is innovative about the kiosk is that we're talking about sustainable energy, but we're also talking about social sustainability and that we think that good design is something that is not a first world privilege, but also something that needs to be brought into these areas. Sustainability is three things. It's ecology, it's economy, and it is culture. You could also say beauty. The solar kiosk is bringing all this together at the same time. It's a piece of architecture, it's a product, it's a piece of infrastructure, and it is a solution that helps billions of people, that has the leverage to change a big part of the world. And this is what architecture should do. We have an operator, her name is Gladys in Botswana, and her husband died of AIDS just a couple of months ago. When we inaugurated that kiosk, I saw her daughter looking at her with pride and a vision for their future, a future for them. I have a daughter as well, so doing this actually, I hope she will look at me the way Gladys' daughter looked at her.